Emily. And I'm Noah. And we're educators at the Louisville Zoo. And we'll be helping you prepare for your upcoming visit. Opened in 1969, the Louisville Zoo currently exhibits more than 1,500 animals on 134 acres of natural settings. Each year, we serve over 800,000 guests visiting from all over the country. The science and conservation programs offered here inspire children to see the world like scientists, to think bigger, develop a lifelong curiosity for learning, and understand their role in conserving the planet and the plants and animals that call it home. This means you'll be doing a lot of walking, and Kentucky weather can be unpredictable, so come prepared. We have both indoor and outdoor exhibits, so wearing layers will help you be prepared for the different temperatures. Also, wear comfortable shoes. There are a lot of hills and uneven pathways. The Louisville Zoo is dedicated to providing stimulating environments for our zoo animals. We have some of the best enrichment experts and programs in the zoo world and have received multiple awards. You can be part of one of our many animal training sessions. Just take a look at the Plan Your Visit tab found on our homepage. Our mission is to better the bond between people and our planet. And one way we do that here at the zoo is by recycling. Help us spread the word when you visit the zoo. Here's what you need to know. Dry waste includes the majority of disposable materials, paper, plastic, metal, and cardboard. These waste containers are located throughout the pathways. Compost includes all foods and liquids. These items should be placed in the specifically marked bins located near our food areas. Landfill includes diapers and wipes. These are collected in bathrooms and the parking lot. Items disposed of there are unable to be recycled. When you first arrive at the zoo, your bus will be asked to park in our bus parking located along the east gate. After your teacher has instructed you to exit the bus, you'll be entering through the main gates with all other visitors and school groups. So it's important you stay with your teachers and chaperones. Along the east gate is also where your buses will be picking you up for departure. Once inside the main gate, you'll be able to use the restroom and break into smaller groups for exploring. During your visit, it might be a good idea to wear your backpack and carry water and your lunch with you all day, but please first check with your teacher. There are several picnic areas where you can stop and enjoy your lunch, but remember, all areas are also open to our other guests, so please be respectful. Since you'll be with your chaperone at all times, this should not be a concern. But if you get separated from your group, remember, we are here to help. Find someone in a zoo uniform and let them know you got separated from the group. They will bring you to guest services and your adult will come and find you. Every species of animal is unique and gifted in its own way. When you slow down, you'll notice all kinds of amazing things you may have missed otherwise, like the giraffe's blue tongue or the sound of a taper's whistle. Some animals are rotated throughout the day, so if you don't see them, try again a bit later. You can help us keep our animals safe and calm by using quiet voices. And don't bang or tap on any of the glass. Our animals are fed a carefully balanced diet, so please don't feed the animals. Make sure you give our geese plenty of space while moving around the zoo. We ask that you don't run or chase after them. All of our exhibits are not only designed to keep our plants and our animals safe, but also our visitors. Remember to stay on pathways and keep in mind all of our plants are alive too. It's important to not climb on or around any of the barriers, walls, or fences. Other visitors have made long trips to get here as well. They should have an equal opportunity to see the animals. We ask that you do not push or shove others and be respectful of your peers while sharing viewing spaces. Be considerate of others during staff and volunteer presentations as well. Everyone deserves to have a great experience while visiting the Louisville Zoo. Finally, we ask that you respect your adults. They've done a lot to get you here, so make sure to listen to their rules and always stay close. Staff and volunteers are here to help. Our goal is to make sure you have a safe trip and learn how amazing different animals and habitats can be, so feel free to ask any questions. But most importantly, have fun and remember to better the bond between you and the planet, because it's the only one we're going to get. Thank you for watching. We look forward to having you at the Louisville Zoo. Bye! Bye.